Great glasses don't have to be expensive glasses and you want frames that look good, feel good and are going to last regardless of how much you have to spend. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing eight of the very best affordable glasses. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And I'm really passionate about pairing the right glasses with the right person at the right price. And nowadays in 2023, you can get amazing glasses without breaking the bank. And that's what I have to show you today. We have four different brands to showcase, including one that is brand new to the channel. And all of these are from independent designers, companies who just make glasses and nothing else. So just to clarify, we're not looking at cheap glasses. We're looking at good value glasses, glasses that will tick all of those boxes in terms of looking good, feeling good, and lasting you a long time, but without having to spend a fortune. It is worth investing in the right glasses. You're gonna be wearing these on your face for the next two years at least. And with that in mind, you never really want to be looking at glasses that are sub $100. I personally haven't come across a good pair of glasses for less than that so far. And if I do, I'll be sure to showcase them here on this channel. But very close to $100 are a new brand to the channel, Highlander, who make pretty quirky, pretty cool frames that are decently made. This one is a perfect example. The Canal comes in some interesting colors, but I particularly like the crystal. And crystal being so on trend as it is at the moment, this is a very fashionable frame. The squarish shape is quite wearable and it's not too big, although it is quite a thick acetate cut. And that's a good sign. That means you're getting good value in terms of the materials. We also see five barrel hinges, which is something to always look out for in your eyewear. You want hinges that are built to last because that is the single biggest point of failure with glasses. These have it, they feel good to wear, they look cool, they're stylish. Crystal, what more is there to want? But Haylander also make metal frames as well. And this round style is a perfect example. This one is the Ailing, and it comes in black and gold and I think a few other colors as well. I picked the black because it's a color that anyone can wear and it will match with any outfit. It's super versatile, like the shape because round frames like this can nowadays be worn by pretty much anyone. I guess the only downside with Haylander frames is they do tend to fit pretty small. So they don't cater for larger sizes. And this one is an example of that. But style wise and fit wise on me, it's pretty good. So Haylander is probably the brand that I would recommend if you're looking for the lowest priced independent eyewear brand that still makes good quality stylish frames. But if you can budget just a little bit more, you get what are arguably the best value frames in the world. Gast. I've showcased them a few times now on the channel, but they continue to impress me with their designs. Every frame I showcase looks and feels incredibly premium. These glasses look like glasses that cost three times as much. And the Not Common is one of their most popular styles, ironically. This is in the Flame Havana, which alongside the caramel that they do is a beautiful sumptuous color that is quite unique. And these just have so much style to them. If you are someone who likes bolder frames, Gast is the brand to look at. Literally, you don't need to look at anything else. For that sub $200 price point, you just cannot beat them. We see, again, five barrel hinges, but these are built like a tank. And it's not just the hinges, it's the thick cut of acetate as well. The way that it's finished, the contours on the inside of the frame, the gold rivets on the front, the dipped bridge and the tapered shape all contribute to a pair of glasses that just looks incredibly cool. And I guess that's to be expected, they are from Milan. And whilst these are not the most comfortable glasses because they are quite heavy due to the thick cut of acetate, they feel extremely solid on the face and that gives a really reassuring feeling when you wear them. Now the Not Common is an absolutely beautiful frame, but if you want more of a classic rectangular shape, Gast have actually done that pretty well with the Neddy. This is a rectangular frame that is actually pretty impressive mainly because of the angular nature of the shape. You know, it's not making any bones about being rectangular. And I guess if that is your style, it's not my style, but if that is your style, it's best to just go all the way. And that is what the Neddy does. I really like the tapered temples as well, the way that that comes to a fine point, just at the moment where it reaches the top of the ear. And the Neddy has a lot of style about it, despite being a relatively, I guess, basic shape. This is in the classic Havana, which is a regular tortoise shell. If you like tortoise shell frames, you will love Gast. Now, if sustainability is important to you, Eco Eyewear is the brand to look at. This one I just had to showcase today because it is super fun. Most of the Eco frames are extremely wearable and fashionable and stylish, whereas the neon green is definitely not for everyone. But it just shows how out there and quirky you can go 
with affordable independent eyewear brands. Going for a less expensive frame doesn't mean you have to compromise on character and personality. And these frames have tons of character and personality. This is obviously more of a feminine style, so it's not really right for me. But if you're a lady looking for glasses that really stand out, that are sustainable at the same time and affordable, you cannot beat this frame. It is one of the most striking, low cost frames I have ever come across. And they have a magic trick as well, because each eco frame comes with its own magnetic polarized sun clip. So within the price of what you pay, you have a pair of prescription sunglasses as well. And look at how the matte black sun clip transforms this frame, because now you just have the neon green temples. A lot of people will buy these primarily as sunglasses that also give them a secondary style or a spare pair of glasses, and that's a great way to look at it. But if you're brave, go for it. Go for the neon green, it's beautiful. That combination of having the sun clip, so you have both glasses and sunglasses in one, makes these an unbeatable value proposition if you're looking for both. And you should be looking for both. Sunglasses are super important in terms of eye health and this is the most affordable way to get a pair of prescription sunglasses. I mentioned that Eco do make generally quite wearable styles that are quite cool, and this is a perfect example. This is the Caraway. It's a geometric shape, it's not too round, it's not too square. More or less anybody can wear this style, but it's still young and fresh, especially in the green colorway. Obviously this is a toned down version of the neon, and I really wanted to show you that for that juxtaposition of how you can go really super out there, and you can go quite classic and understated at the same time. And Eco have a huge catalog. They have, yeah, I think by far the biggest catalog of all of these brands. So you have really something for everyone in terms of shapes, colors, all with, of course, a magnetic sun clip, which is a great feature. And this is how this one looks. In this case, they've gone for the matching sun clip. So it really blends with the frame. But I like how it makes it appear like a plastic style, even though it's a metal frame underneath. So again, you do have that little bit of variety in terms of looking like you've not just got the same glasses on. And this is not a conventional sun clip. It's magnetic, so it fits really flush to the frames. When you're wearing this, you basically can't tell that they're not just sunglasses. Now, many people like myself enjoy vintage aesthetics. And often, if you're shopping for value glasses, you want them to last a long time. One of the best ways to do that, apart from buying a good quality frame, of course, is to go for more of a classic style, something that's not going to date, it's not going to go out of fashion. And that's where Anglo-American are the very best in the world. Anglo-American Optical are more than 140 years old at this point as a brand. And that's why styles like this, the 406, never really date. It's still as cool today as it ever was. I've showcased the 406 on the channel many times because it is such a go-to round frame. Now other brands do make styles like this, whether it's Oliver Peoples, Barton Pereira, Garrett Light, but I would challenge you to hold this frame against any of those and say that it's significantly worse quality but they are significantly less expensive. They're probably half or a third of those other brands. And for that, you get a genuinely good quality acetate frame made in England, five barrel hinges. These are by far better value than those three other brands. Now that is not to say that brands like Barton Pereira aren't exceptionally good quality. They're incredibly well made. And if you can afford them, 100% go for them. But if you are shopping on a budget, you should never be afraid to go for a frame like this. It's almost as good as a top of the range Barton Pereira Norton, which is more like $400, give or take. This less than $200, and you wouldn't really notice a difference, even if you held them side by side. Amazing value for money, and a classic frame style that will just never go out of fashion. However, you still can be contemporary with Anglo-American Optical if you want to be. And they're actually a very artistic brand, whether that's the David Hockney style glasses that they make, the famous artist whose eyewear is an extremely big part of his personal style, but the Fitz is a frame that I actually wear in a much more understated color. It comes in this red, which is actually really cool. Just like the Eco in the neon green, if you wanna make a statement, if you want glasses that really do stand out, you don't have to break the bank. The Fitz is the perfect epitome of that because again, it's affordable. Again, it's well-made, it's comfortable. And again, it's really creative and cool. If you're someone with a lot of personality, you don't have to spend a lot on a pair of glasses to get something like this. The Fitz is just an awesome choice for both men and ladies. And by the way, that applies to pretty much every style I showcase today. They're not necessarily gender specific. But that just about wraps it up, I think. What do you make of my ideas? Are these the best value frames in the world? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to give us a like, subscribe to the channel for more of the best eyewear content on the internet, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. 
Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.